Now I tell you how to do the calibration of the machine. First, here, go to the advanced mode first. The menu, press here, and uh, go to system. And uh, there is the advanced mode. The password was zero. Now it's back to it. And press menu again. First step, do, do a noodle check. Check the noodle status first. And uh, BSD3. First, you need to set the original start. If you want to start printing here, you measure the distance from here to here is how much. Or you can move the carriage here and press base on control panel. The origin will be changed. And check node of BSD3. You can see this is head one, this is head two. Prove that the noodle status like look like this, then you can start the adjustment. If the noodle status is not good enough, maybe here, 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 there are many noodle missed. So maybe the ink cap not come. Maybe the ink cap not completely alignment the print head. So you need to adjust the ink cap position or the whole cap station position. You can see the screws square here, one, two, three, four, for the ink cap. And there are also one, two, three, four, four screws for the cap, whole cap station. You can adjust the whole cap station or only adjust the two ink cap to alignment the print head with the, the ink cap. Now, second step. The first step is to prove that the print head nodal status is good enough. Then we can do the calibration. Let's start the calibration. Adjustment. Dot check, no need, it's for check the ink quality. And the second, interleave check. You can see, the normally the ink order is Y M C K because you can change it to K C M Y or M Y C K any ink order you want but must be double 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 double. Now the ink order is K M Y C double K double Y double uh, double M double Y double C. The print head two is the same as print head one. You can see the black is far away of the. Uh, sign so here just to check the black this is black this is sign if the black is a K K C check the uh, black if it's the same level as the sign let the sign and the black on the same line then it is okay if not on the same line you can adjust to here. Uh, there are four corner screws here. One, two, three, four. Back there are two screws on the back side. And uh, use a small screwdriver here to adjust to two these two screws. You can move the black if the black is higher than the sign, you can rotate these screws. If the black is lower then the uh, sign, you also can rotate these screws to move the black uh, the same line as the sign. This is interleave track. Now, the second is 
Okay, this is on track. Just to, to see here, this is Xinglan and this is Xiklan. It is street. It is street. Then it is okay. Uh, how to adjust? If it is not straight, how to adjust? The same as the interleave track. The same. Adjust these two screws. And the next step is head interval check. Head interval check. It's only for two head. If you only if you only use one head, no need to do the head interval check. Head interval check. You can see this thin line is just on the same line, not okay. Or see here, this is K, M, Y, C. You can see here, no gas between head one and head two. This part is head one. This part is head two. Let the head two and the head one no interval between each other. So it means print head one and print head two no interval between each other. If there is gap, if there is interval between each other like this, head one, head two. So there is interval between each other. So you can move the head two up or move the head one down. How to move? Also loosen the four screws, one, two, three, four. And uh, rotate this screw and this screw the same distance. You can move the head two up or move the head one down. Let let the two heads no interval between each other. This is head interval check. The next step is a very important part feed adjustment and the pass number choose four parts first must be adjust four parts first even you do six parts or eight parts must be choose four parts to adjust four parts first and back to here media type uh, you choose any media you want now I name it Vinlay so I choose Vinlay so go to adjustment, feed adjustment, pass number, I told you before, it's four. It's base pass number. And the same as the media type I chose before, Vinlay. So print. Two print heads, the value is about 24,000, just about. I change it to around, uh, just about 24,000. Then I print. We'll press print number first, then first pass, second pass, third pass, fourth pass, cancel. If you don't press cancel, it will print again and again. Finish four pass, fourth pass, press cancel. You can see this is pass two. The first pass and the second pass just on the same line. So, pass 2 here is better. You can see the 0 is not alignment. You can see it's like this, not on the same line, it's not alignment. You can see here, not alignment. But just 0 alignment. So here plus 2 is better. So the value here, the value here I plus 2. 
here plus 2 and just about uh, this value then I print it again to check if it's okay or not I print it you can see it will print number first and uh, small pass, two pass, third pass, four pass, cancel. If you didn't press cancel, it will print again and again. Zero was here. So, see here. This is almost alignment. The so zero is here. It is almost alignment. But only a little problem. You can see. Uh, this is plus one, this is minus one. You can see here and here, not the same. Maybe minus one is better. The so plus one is a little problem. So I minus only a little. Maybe I minus only about 0 0.1, 0 0.1. And I print again. First pass, second pass, third pass, four pass. You can see the zero here now is perfect. Now we have finished the four pass adjustment. If you want to print four pass, now the four pass is already, feed adjustment is already finished calibration if you want to for example you want to print six pass or eight pass i just for example i choose pass number i choose six pass or eight pass i choose eight pass the same media mainly and i print again this is eight pass One pass, two pass, three pass, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cancel. If you don't press cancel, it will print again and again. You can see zero here. Uh, one pass and the second pass is on the same line. Uh, one pass and the third pass is on the same line but one pass and the, third, the fourth pass um, a little not on the same line so you can see here and here which is better plus one is better so you can see plus one is better so I only plus a little so the value here maybe I only plus 0. 1 to check again 0 0.1 I print to check again you can see Zero was here. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, five pass, no problem. And the six, seven, eight, only a little, maybe a little problem. So you can see here is minus one, here is plus one, which is better. Plus one is better. So I still plus a little. Maybe I plus. Uh, only a little 0 0.08 and uh, print again Now the, the zero 
is almost perfect. This is first pass, second, third, four, five, six, seven, eight. For example, if you print, want to print a one line and use by direction and use eight pass, print look like this: one pass, two pass, six pass, uh, three pass, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So, if the eight pass print the same place on the print same place, so the line must be on the same level. If the four pass maybe look like this, not on the, not alignment, maybe look like this: one pass, two pass, three pass, four pass. So it's not it's not a line. So. You must adjust the eight pass on alignment. The next is we have finished the feed adjustment. The next is head space alignment. This is high high speed and high quality. If you want to print with high speed, choose high speed. If you want to print high with high quality, choose high quality. High and now I choose high quality. Just for example. VSD always choose VSD three and the print. Um, this is adjust uh, which part? Two because you have two head. This is this adjustment only for two head. This is to let the head two just cover on the head one. It means if head one print here, head two the same print here. So we must adjust the let the zero alignment. Zero alignment. You can see the minus nine. Not a, you can see there are two thin lines. You can see there are two thin lines, so it's not not good. We must uh, adjust uh, let's say zero the thin lines straight. So you ch you check which is better. You can see minus one is better. My uh, zero a little problem. So here the value I minus one not is two. I minus I minus one, so it is one. Then I print again to check again. Now it is almost okay. Just to let the zero alignment. Let's go to another, the last adjustment. Horizontal adjustment and also high quality VSD3, uh, which because we want to print faster, so we choose by direction. By direction, so here print high and enter to print. The same as the head offset calibration. This part is the same. How to adjust? Let the zero alignment. You can see which is better. Same. Uh, here. Value high. You change the value because you print high. The value low is useless. Only value high. You you plus or minus the value. Then enter. Then change the value here. After this is whole adjustment. If you finish all the adjustment, then go to quality, feather type choose gradient, and feather level choose feather strong. Uh, 
uh, more important, uh, one more important thing is before you do the calibration, you should feather off. After you finish all the calibration, you should feather strong. Then you can start printing. That's all for all the calibration.